oh my God, we're doing excellent this week. We're doing excellent. And I hope you're getting this between six and seven. Please keep in mind, tonight is Bible study. So I hope you're getting ready to meet with us later tonight. But for this morning, oh my goodness, we've been looking at the move of God happening and the impact of one move of God, how it changes people's lives. And change. Here what happens. We have 120 guys and ladies inside of a room somewhere in Jerusalem. God moves. They could have been inside this room, have this powerful, powerful move of God. Tongues of fire above their heads, speaking in tongues, glorifying God. And it could have stayed in the upper room. But hear what happened to these guys. They left the upper room, walked out into the streets and impacted people from one encounter two to three thousand in fact a nation was in it was impacted and about three thousand people gave their lives to jesus that same day the thing could really snowball and have an in fact uh, in, indeed have an impact that people's lives are changed as our lives are changed to my mind the discussion has to be how much benefit is this move of God so that it encourages me to make that type of change because these 120 yeah. did it and Lord have mercy look at how many people gave their lives to Jesus I think it's the they were persuaded of Christ you know they were they had their own encounter with Christ and they were persuaded of who he is you know and I I think for us sometimes the question is are you still persuaded are you, are you still persuaded of the Christ you encountered when you encountered him? Because that, 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 that encounter, that, that persuasion drives you. It's why Paul, when he's in prison about to die, he's penning this letter to Timothy. He says, I am persuaded. I, I, I'm just as convinced as I was in that encounter in Acts. And I'm here now suffering so many things after I'm about to die. And yet still, I am persuaded. So I think it's the persuasion, knowing that I'm convinced. I am convinced of who God is. I am convinced of this encounter with him. And it means I am convinced of his word to me. And I am going to follow through. I'm, gonna, I'm going to stay the course, no matter the, the, the price attached to it. And go on through so that others may. And you may not live to see the end of it. Abraham didn't see. I, I don't think Abraham should have been alive now to see to see the impact but he isn't so sometimes you may not live to see the end of the impact but it is are you persuaded i think that is the question are you still persuaded um <laughs> so then the things are just stand out to me that that probably is not yeah. what we're supposed to be going on here but um when you begin to wait for something because somebody who you trusted say to go and wait mm. for this. Yeah. And you, you waited for this. Yeah. And after waiting for such a long time, with anticipation, bated breath, and your mouth out, your tongue out your mouth, <laughs> and it happens, it's something that you want to share. Now, it is different to me if I get that, that thing I was waiting for by myself. But once you share that joy with a couple of people, and you begin to mobilize your spirit because we know how to speak the same language. Mm -hmm. You can't keep that in the room. You got me thinking. You got me thinking. Science here, you know. <laughs> you know why? Because in in um in chemistry they talk about the excitation of electrons and stuff. Or like if you heat the the way heat affects particles within a thing, and it talks about how the particles because of the heat becomes excited and they may start to bounce off and they have more opportunity to bounce off and interact so it's like you have that moment you and I all of us are in the same room we're having this encounter bouncing off each other and it's like hey <laughs> let's get out of here go, go, go. <laughs> and psh, you know so I, I think about it and I say definitely true man definitely definitely now, now for us this morning we want to encourage you Get out of your upper room. Get out of your upper room. Get out of your private experience. Mm -hmm. And let that private experience now be, now inform yeah. your conversation. 
You see that person that you're with in your office, that person you're with in the maxi, that person you're with, that the guard you meet at the, at the door when you're coming in. Why not let your excitement, why not let your experience, why not let your move of God impact them? You remember, you're a witness today.